Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a new monthly food shop video. Hope you're all having a little bit of a peckish moment because I definitely am. The sun has returned to Devon and I am literally in the need of an ice cream right now because it is so blazing hot. I'm sweating. Now this month I decided to do my monthly food shop in Waitrose. Yes, I hardly ever go to Waitrose to do my food shopping, but I thought it'd be kind of nice to mix things up a bit, try a few different things, and try a lot of their essential range because I know that they're meant to be value for money. I've had a lot of my friends saying it's been more affordable recently, and yeah, I think the quality is meant to be really good too, so so my total order for my food at Waitrose came to about £120. I did get a lot of essential Waitrose own brand, but I did also get a few things that you'll recognise from my, all my other food shops that are absolutely essential to me. So let's see what I got. So to start us off with, I got some feasts and then I also got some Cornettos because they were on offer so you get both packs for £5. I got these Waitrose and Partners Summer Cup Mini Sorbets. Um, they look really, really cute. I don't actually know how many are in here, but they, yeah, they look really, really tasty. I got a butternut squash curry, so a vegetable curry, and a cottage pie. Both of these are for two people. I then got some little microwave slash little mini oven meals. So I got two little bolognaises. Uh, and they came in about, I think it was like three for eight pounds. And then ham, hock and mushroom tagliatelle. Got some chicken Kievs, some lamb burgers. Love the look of those. I got a kilo of chicken. So these are the chicken thighs. I'd normally get these from Iceland and these were actually cheaper in Waitrose than they were in Iceland. And they're meant to be really good quality, higher welfare, so that's great some frozen cauliflower, some British mints, again, quite affordable, some German salami, some pork sausages, some smoky streaky bacon. And then I got these, a little bit of an experiment, never tried them before, but four British pork shoulder steaks. So I got two packs of the Waitrose Basmati Rice. I got some smooth and silky ripened Somerset Brie. Really, really big piece actually. Then some Essentials Butter. Some hand stretched flatbreads. These were garlic. They looked really tasty. The Cashmere Fill Quilted Bathroom Toilet Rolls. Nine of those. So yeah, they were about five pounds, which I think is about on par for what you normally pay for nine toilet rolls. Then some essential chocolate mini rolls. I got some really nice ciabatta bread rolls for my burgers. I got some sourdough because I just love sourdough bread. This looks really tasty three jars of essential Waitrose tomato and basil, six um, free range eggs, some grated mozzarella, some milk, some hazelnut chocolate spread, some coleslaw, some onions, and these are, these are big, big onions. Uh, some spring onions and again a really good size portion of those normally when I get these from Sainsbury's that's like half that size um, a garlic two really nice peppers some um, sweet potatoes some bananas some mushrooms some cherry tomatoes a bag of mixed salad um, and then I got my satin tape, my Colgate toothpaste, which was on offer, yes, at Waitrose. Normally this is £24, so it was half price, I got it for £12. And then my Whiskers cat biscuits. Now, 
these um you can normally pick up for about six pounds generally most places but they again were on offer at waitrose for four pounds and then finally i did get a box of the essential waitrose cocoa pops i wanted to try them compare them to the normal cocoa pops because obviously they are a um a bigger box for your money and they're a lot cheaper Okay, so that is everything that I got from Waitrose this month. Now, I definitely don't think that I managed to get everything I needed. I definitely would have liked to get like a few more like pizzas and like nibbly bits. So I'm probably going to have to go elsewhere for those. But generally speaking, if I compare that to like my most recent um, Morrison shop, that was cheaper so i got way more for my money um i got some really nice sourdough bread i think if you're you know just looking to like change up your menu a little bit maybe you want to try some different things and you're still looking for value for money then maybe go and check out what waitrose has to offer at the moment i think there are some really yummy bits on there and um yeah it's it's not too bad for value so if you are like me and you are a bit of a foodie and you like trying new things and you want to get yourself something nice to eat, head over to Waitrose online. Um, and I think a couple of times, like when you do your first few shops, you get some discounts. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, guys, that is everything from me. I hope you enjoyed this food haul video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We're just about to hit 10,000 subscribers, which means there'll be a giveaway coming soon. But for now, enjoy, take care, and I'll see you soon. Bye, guys. Now, this sorbet. Mm. Very good. Mm.